In this video, I'll be going over a step-by-step -step tutorial on how I built this PVC enclosure along with the stand that it sits on. I needed three sheets of 4x8 half inch PVC board. I cut the sheets to the appropriate size shown in the pictures here. Used a 90 degree clamp, measured over a quarter inch, marked my line, then measured down every four inches. Drilled some pilot holes and used inch and a quarter drywall screws to connect the left and back panels. Made sure everything was square and did the same process on the right side for the enclosure. Started pre-marking all my measurements for the top of the enclosure, then put the top of the enclosure into its place. It helps when doing all this if you're using a level surface. Screwed the left side down, and then the back. Repeated the same process for the bottom of the enclosure. Marking my lines two and a half inches in so I can start preparing for the front frame. Cleaning off the seams using rubbing alcohol. Using 100% silicone, I stopped at this line for the front frame. Mainly because I'm going to be doing a full hardscape on the inside of the enclosure and I'll be putting on the front frame at a later time once it's all completed on the inside. Makes it much easier to work this way. Then just smooth out the silicone with my finger. Here's the material that I used to make the stain. Started with the framework by building a rectangle, use some wood glue, put it in its place, and use a 90 degree clamp to hold it together. Made some pilot holes and screwed it together using two and a half inch number eight construction screws. Checked to make sure everything was square. Marked my lines for 18 on center, giving the stand more stability and strength. Then made a second one for the bottom half. Screwed in the 4x4 into the corners. Started working on the bottom shelf. Made my measurements. Then cut it out so it fits snug around the 4x4 post. Laid down some wood glue. Then laid into place a piece of plywood for the bottom shelf. Then screwed it down. Flipped it over so it was easier to work with and repeated the same process for the top of the stand. Got a head start on painting it. Added some more wood glue. Marked my lines for the top of the stand so I can go ahead and screw it into place. Installed two and a half inch caster wheels that lock. Last minute, I decided to add some wood putty and sanded it down. Made some corners for a nicer finish. Put the enclosure on the stand. Now to start framing out the front. I took two pieces of half inch PVC board and stacked them on top of each other. Marked my measurements. Clamped them down into place and screwed the two boards together. Made my cuts. Then sanded it down to remove any imperfections. To install the bottom board I just made, I wanted to have a half inch lip so I marked my line. 
connected the lines so I had a guide when I screwed the board into place. Got my measurements and marked my lines. I screwed the sides of the front frame in first so it hold the board in place. Then button the bottom down. Flip the enclosure upside down to work on a more level surface and repeated the same process as I did on the bottom. Now for the sides of the front frame. Cut some pieces, 3 inch wide, 48 inches high, and put them into place. Put two screws in the bottom and the top. Then screw the front frame to itself. Now that the front frame is square, I'm screwing the sides to the front frame to get rid of any bowing. Dialed in where I wanted my basking lights to go. Marked my lines. Drilled a hole so my jigsaw blade would fit in. Then went ahead and just cut it out. Now to add some trim around the holes for the light so I can have the light fixture recessed into the actual enclosure. I cut this circle the same size as the one I did on top of the enclosure. This is so the lights stay in their place and gives the inside of the enclosure a nice finish. Measured one inch around for the outside diameter of the light fixture frame. Went ahead and just cut it out. Got some 1 8 chicken wire, made my template, Cut it out to the inside of the line. Held it in place with a little bit of hot glue. I did work this part in sections and then smoothed it out with a spoon. Drilled eight pilot holes. Got my three quarter inch screws ready to be drilled down. Put the frame into place. Then drilled the screws down in a star pattern. Another way to do lighting is on the inside of the enclosure, like I did on this one here. I'll go ahead and post a full build video in the top right corner now. I kept the bottom of the enclosure taped off in attempts to keep it as clean as possible before using Lexel adhesive. Use some soapy water to smooth out the bead I just laid down. Use the level to see where I should drill for my water overflow and drainage for easy maintenance. Drilled through my mark with the enclosure on the stand. Then went ahead, moved the enclosure out of the way so I can see the hole. And drilled right through the stand. Then through the bottom of the enclosure. Prepped all my bulkheads by siliconing screen mesh onto them. Then added the bulkhead for my drainage system. Siliconed in a piece of half inch PVC pipe and inserted it into the bulkhead and let it cure overnight. Did a test run and connected the hose. Turned the ball shutoff valve. Drilled some half inch holes that'll fit my bulkhead that'll connect to my fogger system. Primed and also spray painted black some half inch PVC pipe. Laid down some silicone to attach the glass track. Put the glass track right into its place. Use a little bit of painter's tape to hold it down. For a cleaner look, I did use Lexel adhesive for a smoother seam. It is also 100% paintable. I did reinforce the bottom seams with dry lock. I also found 
doing your first coat as thin as possible helps it bond a little bit better. Taped off the glass track and use primer and paint for the outside of the enclosure. Installed quarter inch tempered glass. Used weather stripping where the glass meets the enclosure and added my glass handles. Installed the PVC pipe that I painted earlier for the fogger system that attach to the hoses that connect to the fogger system. Installed the deep heat projector for nighttime heat. I can always move the lights around if ever needed in the future, but I also kept the cutouts so I can use them as plugs. Installed an Arcadia T5 for UVB and Jungle Dawn for the plants. Drilled inch and a half holes for the vents. Put a little bit of silicone around the vent with some screen mesh on the back side and pressed it into place. Then just cut the mesh with a razor. I have inch and a half plugs if ever needed. Created air circulation inside the vivarium using 40 millimeter fans. Mounting it with a Miss King mount. I did have to snip the wires to pull them through the Miss King mount and then reconnect them. I'll post the whole how-to video in the top right corner now. But this method works great because you can point the airflow in whatever direction you want. Now to go over the exterior nest and or hide box. I needed two 7 gallon storage containers from Home Depot, 3 inch PVC pipe, 2 inch and 3 inch flanges, 90 degree 3 inch PVC elbow, and half inch screws and half inch bolts with lock nuts. Drilled a hole where I wanted my entrance to be, found that hole on the back of the enclosure, used a 3 inch hole saw on a slight angle just in case water were to come in, and then cut out the rest with a steak knife. Went around the entrance with some great stuff spray foam, then picked off all the shiny stuff so dry lock would bond to it better. Cut the hole in the lid, then sanded it down. I also sanded the inside of the flange to get a rough surface so dry lock would stick to it better. Added some more climbing surface so the reptile has something to hold on to a little bit better. Then went ahead, trimmed it down with a steak knife. Taped everything off and spray painted it black. Lined up the flange to the entrance hole, then screwed it into its place. Made a quick shelf to hold my hide box and fogger. Used lock nuts to bolt on the flange to the lid of the storage container and sanitized with chlorhexidine. Made a substrate mix of cocoa fiber, organic topsoil, play sand, and sphagnum moss. Mixed it all together. Stuck on a Zoomed heating pad, I'll take this storage container and place it on the inside of the second one. Wove in the wire to the thermostat probe. Stuck it through a hole that I drilled out. This box will be regulated by a thermostat and buried it halfway down through the substrate. Spray painted the lid to make it as dark as possible, then took zip ties to the back side, tightened them down. This is also going to work as a hinge. The lid is locked down with the PVC on top holding it into place. To access the inside, I just moved the wood block, which acts as a lock. Slide the storage container back and pull towards myself. The zip ties on the back once again acting as a hinge. Snap the lid back into place and slide it back onto the PVC pipe. Put the lock back into place, made sure it was secure and good to go. I also have an end cap to use if needed. And here's the entrance, all tied in to the rest of the background. Added a power strip to the back of the enclosure. Set up my timers that operate from my smartphone from anywhere in the world. 
Don't forget to check out the full step-by-step -step video of how I did the inside of the vivarium. I'll post it at the end of the video. Do me a favor, if you've enjoyed this video or any of my other ones, like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.